it's Sunday morning and we've woken up to just a scattering of snow on the hills and the fields and uh, a cold wind. So just going to straw up the pigs and get them fed and then off round the others. So it's just a thin scattering of snow and you can see how it's been blowing um, onto all of the walls. It's quite breezy, I think we're going to have a colder, windier week. Hi, so it's Monday morning, it's snowing outside, we don't have any central heating, but thankfully we've got a fire, thank goodness. So the house is a bit chilly, I think outside is going to be even colder, so mugging up to go and get all the animals fed. The snowy, uh, cold weather like this just basically means extra food, extra hay that we're going to give to give to the sheep. Um, so make sure that they've got plenty. Um, a bit of extra bedding for the pigs that they're fine. They've got, of course, uh, a lot of hair. And then all of us going around breaking all the ice on the troughs. So just um, extra work, basically, but not complaining. blowing about and that's when things can get quite interesting for the roads and the access. And I'm going to be just looking for a sheltered spot to feed, um, hopefully a bit out of the wind, mainly so that they're a bit protected and the hay is protected as well, it doesn't blow away.
I've just been clearing and salting the uh, the walkways with a bit of grit so that we're not going to hopefully slip over. To deliver this little cake that I made for my auntie Chris. It's her birthday today. This morning was the most severe morning of the winter so far, biting east wind. And this is not my 
farm buildings, but these buildings here give really good shelter when the wind's in the east. So we've got a, a big bale feeder here, uh, and because the weather's, the, you know, the ground is covered with snow, we've dragged out the uh, hay feeders and filled them up with hay. But this morning we fed them behind a higher wall up there again out of the east wind and they all came for the feed there. But uh, it's quite a nice place for them to be here. I mean, just standing here now, you can tell, it, I know it's not, it's not as bad for them, it just gives really good shelter. And that's an asset of, you know, the walls. They do give good protection from the weather. People ask sometimes, why don't you bring them in when the weather's bad? Hmm, people don't, well, we haven't got room for them. And, People up on the moors don't even bring them in. I mean, as long as they've got plenty of food to eat, they're fine. You know, you, we, we never have, uh, we've never had sheep stuck in drifts like uh, farmers on the moors do. Uh, you know, they, they even they step out, but uh, as long as they've got plenty of food to go out, they, they're fine. They look quite okay. Dad's just there getting another bale, bringing it up. We're gonna fill this feeder in now. Uh, we've given them some more energy buckets. So that's everything that we can do really. Then make sure that we uh, keep warm and well fed ourselves. That's the end of the video thank you for watching a little bonus just at the end is a clip of me wild swimming in the freezing cold just for fun i hope you enjoy it see you soon bye it really was an incredibly cold day the wind was brutal so i probably spent five six minutes maybe in the water went up near the waterfall and then uh, swooshed back down and then got out and it felt fantastic um and it was just what i needed really a bit of fun a bit of enjoyment and i really do feel like getting in the cold water helps me um, and then afterwards very important move around some very quick physical activity followed by getting a load of layers on and then a lovely warm drink and walk back to the farm <laughs>